from Fox Valley Technical College, Heather Schrader. I'm a little bit nervous, and this is normal for me, but usually I get the jitters out. So one thing that I wanted to start off with is just to say that to do the power pose, which I was been telling everyone here. <laughs> I am part of Phi Theta Kappa, and last year in Kansas City for Catalyst, we learned about the power pose, which is helping every single person feel like they are powerful, especially women. And since I'm very small, I want to do my power pose to make myself seem like I'm stronger. So this is the power pose. <laughs> So I started my educational journey um, being diagnosed with a reading disorder when I was in first grade. This kind of con this made it very difficult for me in school, and I was eventually told by a teacher in elementary school that I was never going to succeed because I didn't know how to write. I learned very quickly that if I didn't know how to read, I wasn't going to be able to know how to write, so I had to figure out a way to overcome this. I continued to struggle through elementary and middle school as I was also diagnosed with a dual autoimmune disease that affected my ability to move and my ability to stay warm. You'll see my hands turning purple and it's just because I have an autoimmune disease and it's very hard for me to stay warm. Um, I changed my future in high school. I went to a library by choice and I picked up a book, which happened to be Carrie by Stephen King, and it was the first book I ever read. And because of that, I actually started to learn how to write. And I also learned to learn, love, learned to love how to read. I overcame my disability, and by the time I was a junior in high school, I was taking advanced placement English classes. And I graduated high school in 2013 with high honors. Um, this was never anything I thought I could do before. <laughs> In spring of 2015, I took the TESOL program, which is teaching English as a second language at Fox Valley Technical College. I got certified in May 2015. I decided to come back and I created my own program, which is the Individualized Technical Studies Program at FETC. It took me six months to create my program as I had to talk to six different programs managers and go out into the community to create my, my program. I also got certified in autism spectrum disorder this last May, so May of 2018. And one of the biggest accomplishments that FETC has helped me with is being able to travel abroad. I traveled abroad on May last year um, for 33 days to Beijing, China, where I taught conversational English to my host family and to an, at an international elementary school. This was something that I always wanted to do and I loved it so much. This May, I will be graduating with a degree in educational consulting. That was the program that I had created. And this summer, I'm actually going to be going to Seoul, South Korea, where I will be teaching at a language cafe for seven weeks. And then for two weeks, I will be visiting my host family in Beijing, China again. I'm really, really excited. In the last 10 months, I've had a lot of success. Um, in August 2018, the Winnebago County Department of Human Services partnered with me in my business. Um, for the last five months, I've been creating a soft skills mentoring program called Level Up Mentoring. I won first place at the Foxtrap pitch event for this business idea, so this has helped me raise funding for this program. Winnebago County isn't just a partner, though. Winnebago County is actually helping me fund this soft skills mentoring program. There's a potential of reaching over 50,000 youth and young adults aged 15 to 24 in the Tri-County area in this program to teach them the necessary soft skills they'll need to transition into the work world. The, start, the proposed start date for this program is September 2020. And I really want to have one last thing. I want to thank FETC so much for helping me. Thank you. Thank you.